Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft has made available with the release of build 28000.1340 for Windows 11 and the Canary Channel for version 26H1. Now, if you were waiting for new innovations, well, you're going to be disappointed. However, the company is enabling new features and changes that have been already available in other channels. Okay, first, the homepage of File Explorer now includes the recommended section that will surface files based on your activities. Now, I don't have like any files at this time. However, you can see the recommended section right here and you can enable and disable it from the folder options page using this option right here. And that will restore the quick access section on the home page. Now, if we go to the settings app, more specifically to the advanced page, we're going to see that this page now includes the enable long path option that allows you to remove the max path limitation for common Win32 files and directory functions. Now, if we go to accounts, we're going to notice that the email and accounts page has been renamed to your accounts. And then when you go to the page, you're going to notice sign design changes to the page. Now, if we go to the contrast themes page, now here we are going to find the setting to control the keyboard shortcut for contrast themes. This option was previously available only on control panel. Now, if we go to the taskbar page, inside of the system tray icons section, we're going to see that Microsoft is now adding the emoji and more option that allows us to access the emoji panel from the system trade in the taskbar, as you can see right here. You can always change the option to appear only when you're typing on an application, or you can disable using the never option. Now, if we turn on voice access, we're going to notice that the feature now includes the wait time before acting, and you can choose from different options. Now, another thing I noticed is that changing the background image now shows a transition instead of switching directly to the image. I'm not completely sure if this is new to this preview or if this one's always the intent, but if we go to the current version of the operating system, if we try to switch, you're going to notice that there are now transitions. The desktop just changes the wallpaper. And that's it. Those are pretty much all the biggest changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 28000.1340 for Windows 11 version 26H1. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that Microsoft is temporarily disabling the administrator protection feature and it is fixing a problem with the storage spaces. And that's it. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.